Today, I'm going to show you how to pack for a 10-day trip in a carry-on. It's our guide to weight loss. With luggage, of course. I'm Jenny Mechanic, president of The Travel Mechanic. I know nothing about cars, but I do know a lot about travel. Today with me is Lauren Doyle, our vice president. She also happens to be my daughter. Lucky me! <laughs> We're going to show you how to slim it down. Shall we get started? Let's get started. Our system is very simple. It's a two color scheme. So you've got to really kind of wrap your brain around that, but once you do, it's going to go very quickly for you. My two colors are blue and coral, and I pair them up with our basics, black, white, and we're going to talk a little bit about jeans. But we'll start with the black pants. Again, fabric is very important here. I do want to show them the whole key to getting them unwrinkled when you pack is to go ahead and fold and then do a nice roll. And then work your way around the base of the luggage. So there are our, our black pair of pants. We have our cream. Try to stay away from white. Cream kind of softens the body lines a bit. And jeans are essential no matter where you go, hot weather or cold weather. And I'm laying these flat on the bottom Absolutely. with these thicker materials. They're going to be our base. And just a little word about jeans. Now they make jeans for our body type pretty comfortable. So don't be afraid to wear jeans. They're also one of your basic neutrals on your whole color scheme. So after the pants, we're gonna to go to shorts. And I know a lot of us really don't like to wear shorts anymore. So I like to pack these little skorts. They really help slim down our body type. Love this material too. And that's all non-wrinkle. And then I, t I also take a striped one. So you can see where I'm going with this. These are blue, that's neutral. So let's talk tops. I like to pretty much pack about 10 tops. Uh, gives you really a lot of versatility here. Again, uh, you see where I'm going with it. There's my blue. I like to go ahead and um, intersperse a lot of patterns. Again, uh, pairing up with those solid bottoms. And most of these are the lightweight chiffons. They do not wrinkle. They also can take you into day, into night. So we've got several there in the blue family. And I'm just gonna continue with the coral family. Don't forget to pack a long sleeve, even on a summer cruise. It gets chilly, so no worries there. And of course, a sweater. We all get a little chilly in the air conditioning, so a sweater is really important. Our basic tops, we want to do, of course, white. Got it. I love the metallic. It's so versatile. And then, of course, a couple of easy daytime touring tops. Dresses are a really important part of our packing here. I usually like to take about two printed knit, again, in the, in the uh, color scheme of the coral and the blue. Um, packing a black dress is also very good, but honestly, for women our age, don't be afraid of color. I've been wearing now color, and I've got to tell you, I've gotten more compliments than I ever have with wearing a black dress. It also is kind of important, too, because it takes us from that frumpy look all the way to fantastic. Agreed completely. Uh, bathing suits, I know we all dread them. You're going to have to take one. Pack it, shove it in, and it's there for you. Um, those chilly nights, we talked about a light sweater. Also, these wraps are essential. Two, black and white, goes with everything. Can't go wrong. Nope. And actually, one of the things I love to do when I am traveling is pick up a, uh, a scarf. Kind of reminds me of where I've been. Where were you when you got this one? Am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> uh, I think I was in Paris. <laughs> and now on to accessories. They play a very important role in our packing system. The first item is a hat. I never go anywhere without it. Oh, and it's foldable too. That's actually very important. 
And equally important is our clutch. In fact, it's a must. Leave your bulky purse at home. You really don't need it. Yeah, this seems like all you need. Fits your room key and the quads. Leave your good jewelry at home. Another really important mm -hmm. tip. Um, I always say, if you don't mind losing it, go ahead and take it. This is a uh, metallic color. I like the costume jewelry a lot. Be as creative as you want because they're going to really brighten up your, your outfits. And Lauren, you know what? Another good tip, store those right in that clutch. There you go. And now on to shoes. This is what really makes people crazy. It's very important to assess your shoes. I like to pack only three pair of shoes. Yes, only three. I start with a little evening shoe. Uh, I personally like the wedge, it's very comfortable. A flat shoe for daytime. And then also a flip-flop type for beach and pool. A good walking shoe is really important. Wear are those to the airport? And now onto our bonus tip rain gear. You really need to pack it. One of my favorite items is this waterproof poncho and it's totally reversible. But what I like best about it is that it fits into this little pouch. Leave your umbrella at home. You really don't need it. But do pack good rain gear. So that's it ladies. If I can do it, you can do it. All fitting in this little carry-on. Voila! Bone Voyage!